chosen like to invite wind in ground effect craft a case study in aerodynamics effect has already been with us since 100 years ago so it is defined as those which fly close to the ground surface so as you can see in this picture the birds flying close to the water surface so by doing that it will increase the pressure under the wing and thus increasing the lift to the right ratio which means you get more lift so the, the lower you get, you increase more lift. That's the basic definition of ground effect. Okay. Uh, this is a Russian made called a chronoplate. Okay. Uh, it has a story actually. It was also known as a Caspian Sea Monster because it's a quick story and interesting actually because Caspian Sea was once, I think, famous for mysterious, a lot of mysterious phenomena. And suddenly when Russia made this and you see some flying, flying aircraft closer to the water, people will start wondering what is that. And that's why they call it Caspian Sea Monster at that time. People that don't know that, the, the name. So in 2002, Boeing launched a Pelican Ultra Large Transport Airplane. All of this uh, for the purpose to exploit ground effect, to study more about ground effect. Now, unfortunately, until today, the wheat is still not commercial viable due to its difficulty to handle in controlling and also poor design capability. So, as I told you, it's been with us since a long time ago, but until today, it's still not commercial viable. We still can't use it for commoners, for people like, like Boeing, like airline, no. We still don't have something like this. And we're going to get into that, why? Well, as the first, uh, as the first, what do you call it, uh, assumption, 
it is said that it has a poor design cost capability and also it has a problem on the longitudinal stability okay and let's talk about the character and the system now we first since it's flying closer to the water or especially sea water it must have a, a durable hull structure and a safe guard all of these to protect from the sea water and this from the salt because it will corrode the corrosion so since it's flying so near to the water you need some guard to protect against it so in weak the ram pressure under the wing is being influenced by the angle of attack the velocity the height and also the roughness of sea so the problem of stability maybe can be solved by a performance design or automatic control system or might be both so the 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 problem with weak actually because it is said as the first term as ground effect uh, I'm not sure if everybody realize it or not but then again correct me if I'm wrong but this phenomena also happened with Boeing with our standard airline you remember when you when when you about to fly and then the captain asked you to buckle up and sit properly and turn off all of your gadgets and electronic equipment at that time when the when the airline and uh, when the aircraft flying the first phase that it must fly through is the GE the ground effect zone which is a very a very unstable zone to be precise but fortunately for Boeing it's just just for a brief moment until it reach up from the the outside of the ground effect zone then it will be stable again so but for this type of aircraft, the main problem is is it has to fly in the ground effect zone. So, actually, the geometry and the structure and the design of the aircraft is entirely different from the normal aircraft. Because normal aircraft was meant to it is meant to fly higher. This one is lower. So you could say it has its own world. Okay, so due to that, issued by International Maritime Organization in 2002, in the case of failure, I have to read this lah, since this is a, a policy, of any automated device that makes part of its stabilization system or its power drive, power, a parameter of weak craft movement must always stay within limits. It says here that in case of failure, the parameter of Period, uh, failure of the system so the parameter of weeks must always stay within safe limit in for safety reason so that's why in the design we have to consider this uh, this is actually okay this is a Fisher HW20 it's a concept design actually uh, because I'm going to talk about the system engineering uh, right now. So, it is said that it must have a reliable aerodynamic and performance design and it must be complemented by automatic control system. Because another another problem of weak is, even if it still fly in the ground effect zone, there is a time that you need to fly outside of ground effect zone, actually. When is that time? That time is when you want to avoid a high sea wave. So at that moment, you have to get higher just to avoid the sea wave. So depending on uh, where is the sea is, the level of the sea wave is high. Which means, unfortunately, at some point, it has to go out of ground effect zone which is become a very a very difficult problem to solve so to be precise uh, in my research uh, 
I have some preliminary assumption that actually you even have to use a different for for ground effect you have to fly you need to fly it so you need to have a different a different airfoil airfoil profile than some aircraft that flying higher so aircraft that fly higher has a different profile and aircraft that fly in the GE zone is also has a different profile because the migration of the center of pressure that's very far actually now uh, as I said it's a preliminary assumption so never, nevertheless so the development work stage is the first is a conceptual development which means in order to build this we have to do analysis the concept exploration and definition and then on the second part we start for engineering development and then for the third part is post development where we do a production operation and support okay so this is the formula Maybe I don't really have to explain so much about it. I'm quite sure you all know about this Brigade range equation. It is said here that the range increases with better propeller, more fuel, more efficient, and better lift to depth ratio. Which is the reason why why we venture into ground effect aircraft is actually because because it's one is another type of transportation. It's so much different than the normal Boeing, normal aircraft. And second, it gives a good fuel efficiency the more closer it flies to the ground. Uh, not ground, I mean, doesn't matter. Be it a ground like this or a water uh, or a sea ground. As closer as it gets, it gets more. It gets more lift. So more lift means less fuel consumption which is why it should be by theory it should be more cost effective to build something like this for commercial viable viability and then for a basic requirement of good concept development accurate value of lift to that ratio are needed from full scale real flight test or wind tunnel which means after this we will be talking about an experiment that has been done okay, okay this is the Okay, this is a small medium weight craft as a potential domestic transport, eight passenger. Then, it should be more. Okay, uh, we internal test. So we build this concept and we test it in a wind tunnel about 12 meter square with a, uh, it's a low speed tunnel. So one to six modular scale model with a wind speed from uh, of 10 to 50 meter per second. So we want to study the ground effect. First we have to make a conceptual, one minute, just left one minute. Oh my god, okay. So I, I, I talked too long, sorry. <laughs> okay, so uh, we also put a wood turf to study the flow. And then after that, we put it into a test. And this is the result. So as you can see, uh, I don't have much time maybe to explain much about this. But I tell you what, the, the gist of this result is actually, it is said 
that (uh) it is proving that as closer you as closer the 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 wing or the craft to the ground the more lift you achieve it is being proved by this so so from here you get the sort of from the wind turner desk of uh, coefficient of lift and coefficient of drag to angle of attacks and then next next and we also put in the vortex lattice method result but this is on the horizontal tail plane which means we also test on the, the the result on the tail 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 okay next Okay, uh, as you can see here, okay. see, it, it is said that it is a static pressure at the bottom part when the height to wingspan is 0.05 and this is 0.27. It is said here that it has more pressure here than here, which means this is closer to the ground and this is further to the ground. So, more pressure which means more lift uh, under the under the wing okay next okay we also test on several height uh, but basically it's just uh, proven about the lift the lift assumption next uh, and also from the side as you can see here the pressure you can see how the pressure change based on the height also okay next this is the list of data that we get so from the 0 0.05 until 1.5 and it says here uh, like I said it's just proof that much as closer it to the ground it gives more lift uh, as further it from the ground it gives it, it, it has less lift well, actually, the problem. Okay, can you move? I will continue more about it after this. Let's. Um, I don't think I need to, to talk too much. Okay, let's talk about the conclusion. So, as a summary, we craft never accepted as as a mainstream transport vehicle. Well, mainly, I think because uh, for now the development cost is so high. It's so high, actually. So even I think from widget works that create the air fish, that air fish actually costs about six Boeing. Uh, it's the same price of six Boeing. So one Boeing six Oh, okay. Sorry. And then ground effect may be exploited within zero point two to zero point eight. We can study on this and then static longitudinal stability may be fine tuned by setting the horizontal tail plane. And then needed is also dynamic stabilization of the craft to warrant a safe design of the weak craft. Now, one last thing that I need to highlight about weak craft is uh, it has also a problem where it's hopping actually. It's hopping, uh, it will uh, stability problem because. It gives so much lift when it's so near to the in it, it's so near to the ground, but then again it will quickly lose its lift once it reaches outside of ground effect. So as a result, you you will get a flying your your aircraft will fly like this. So this is one of the problem of its stability. Uh, okay, and then next. Okay, this is uh, one of the my my I think uh, my area of investigation where I have to investigate also how GE works. Uh, so I'm using a can you play? It's a video. So recently, but I managed to find some a software that can 
that can find that can actually study the ground effect how ground effect works so as you can see here this is the ground and this is the airfoil so you can see how how the pressure is being distributed and how the swirl works can you play also this Okay, can we move to the next? Okay, uh, the reason why I've been talking about this is actually because uh, I'm also working with uh, a company from industry, and this is what I've been we've been developed until now, which means uh, if you if you if you ever YouTube, you can YouTube also UH eighteen SPW is a new universal hovercraft. This is also a video. Can you play? Is it a long one? No. Is this, is this the last slide? Yes. Thank you. Not really. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's not, it's not that far. It's just like 30 seconds. Yes. Or maybe 20 seconds. So... it's This is something that already been developed, actually. But... Is uh, how do you say? But I think until now, if I'm not wrong, as of now, Universal Hovercraft is the only, the only uh, company that able. Can we move to the next slide? That is able to play this also. That is able to make a successful wick that can stably fly in ground effect zone. Uh, a lot of attempt to do the same thing. They sell it. They sell the. They sell the. The drawing to the whole world, but then again, can you play? But then again, he, the only I think attempt is a lot. But then again, the successful one I think until now only three or four in the world. So which mean this is a to me is a very interesting interesting things to explore, uh, research to explore. And as of now, it has been developed, so we want to put it on test and put it put on some uh, measurement, all of sensor to get all the data. Hmm. Okay, I think that's all for my question. Do you have any question? You have to. Okay, a very quick question. Only question. twenty second question. <laughs> because we have already uh, exceeded. Exceeded. I'm sorry, time. MC. Okay, without okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, our next presenter will present about uh, trajectory tracking of quaternion based quad rotor using model predictive control.